We always remember the Our Father, let it be here on earth as it is in heaven. Well, God wants to bring heaven to earth. We are his army and it's time the church came together and stood together and be that powerful force that he has made us. He's waiting to perform his word. It says in Psalm 103, 20 there, his angels are waiting to hear his word. Prayer is absolutely essential for anything. This church was started in prayer. When we pray, God hears us. He watches over his word to perform it. The angels are on board. They're hearkening to the voice of his word and they go and they help to assist. We just have to say, yes, Lord, when we don't feel like doing it, we're not feeling bold or confident. We have to say, yes, Lord. And you know what? You just got to step out on the water, just like Peter did. It's by faith. There's diversity of gifts, there's diversity of services, and there's diversity of ministries. We're all different, and it's all one spirit. So if you want the collective whole jigsaw picture put together, you need that everybody's got a different aspect. And there's unity when we're together. I just see it like a a lighthouse and we're praying and declaring and decreeing a thing and speaking a thing, those prophetic missiles out into the nation. You've got watchmen on the wall of a city. When the watchmen are standing there, they're looking out their perspective. There's a guy here and a guy there that can see other things. It's all needed. It's something God has ordained and we're just so thankful to God that we're able to fulfill his prophetic words, to fulfill his dreams that he gives. And it takes people just like you and me. Our prayers keep anarchy off the streets. We are the salt in the world. And we're that restraining influence that can keep the Antichrist at bay. It has to, it has to be protective. And we won't really know from this perspective till we get up there. We just have to be obedient. <laughs>